have something new for you guys today. We're going to be looking at pixel art from Oraloa. I am an Oraloa ambassador, but you should know that I, okay, there's literally tear here and I did not tear there. I spent my own money on this. So this is not, this was not sent to me, but I purchased it so that I could review it and show you guys. I saw a bunch of people in the Oraloa Facebook group doing this. And I was like, what is this exactly? So, oh, we have gift. We have gifts. Okay, before we get to that, let's look at these presents. They included some crystal drills. These are round <gasps> stickers. Oraloa Beach Paradise Island. Oh, cool. So this is like, this is very much like a thick plastic. Um, you could probably add a magnet to it and make it into a cover minder. That's so neat. And then some more stickers, their business card. Ooh, artist trading cards. These are my favorite. I love these artist trading cards from Oraloa. I have a whole bunch of them. This is actually on my wish list for, I think there's a cross stitch kit and a, a diamond painting if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so I'm very excited. That's exciting. And then it says Aloha treasure. So you get to scratch that and see if you win anything. So take my cross stitch scissors that I have here. That's not working. Okay. Did I win something? I didn't win. I didn't win. But I like I like the chance at winning. And that's all that matters, right? Right. Okay. Let's put this aside. So this is what they call pixel art. Pixel hobby. Pixel hobby from Oraloa. Um, basically, I think it's very much like diamond painting, except you actually like push them down onto these things. I have no idea. I've never seen this kit unboxed before. And that could be like someone else could have unboxed this on their channel, but I literally don't watch Diamond Painting YouTube very much. So, um, okay, so place the base, base plate on top of the pattern. Let me see. Uh, color number is located on back of each pixel square, okay? Symbol corresponds to pixel color number. Place pixels on the base plate. Direction of the arrow must be identical. Fix to the base plate, no glue or iron needed. Okay. So we got, does it say the artist? No, but it measures 146 by 172 millimeters. That's millimeters, guys. Eh, I don't want to rip it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we have like this nice, ooh, my phone. Okay. So here we have this nice little, I guess, uh, booklet. Yeah, a booklet. It's like, what do you call it? A booklet. So project needs 30 pixel squares of the following sub pattern. So I'm guessing this is the color. Look at this after because I I don't really understand what this is. Okay, let's look at this after because I'm literally like, I don't know. I don't know. But this is the image that I purchased. Okay, so yet tweezers. These are really weird tweezers. I don't, I don't understand them. Sure. Then we have, oh, it comes with a frame. Okay. This must be like the canvas I'm guessing. And it, it's, it's like, I don't know, 3d, whatever you want to call it. So it's like a 3d canvas. Okay. Interesting. And then these are our drills. I want to call them drills. I don't know what you would call them. So it says in the instructions on the back of each pixel, I hope you guys can see, in the middle there it says 185, so that's the color. Okay, okay, interesting. So there's a whole bunch of different colors in here. Let me take a few out to show you. They're like, I don't know how to describe this material. Like, it's very bendy. It's... It, they're soft. They're like very soft, but plasticky. Silicone-y? I don't know. Okay. So whatever. There's that. Let's like move some of this stuff out of the way. Oops, I hit the, the tripod. I'm like an earthquake. Okay, so our this thing has an arrow. If you can see, it has like an arrow. Yeah, you can see that. There's an arrow. So now let's look at this instructional kit. Okay. One, so pixel color 100 is this. What the hell? Pixel color 122 is the O. 
I don't understand. Is there counting? Literally, we have to count things. Am I supposed to not show this pattern? Okay, let's try this. I'll try this now. Okay, we'll try this. Let's let's give this a shot. So make sure the arrow's pointing base plate on top of the pattern. Ew! Okay, good thing. Good thing I read this again. Okay. So we place this on top of this. This make oh my god. Thank the Lord I don't have to count things because I was like, I'm going to give up. This was a waste. I'm just going to give this kit away. Pixel color 100. So now the annoying thing is to figure out which one is 100. Eh? 100. 100 is white. Okay. So now we... How do we get these off of this thing? These are on your, or your fingers, okay? Literally, these are the tweezers. And like, okay. Wait, so I'm gonna do, huh? And what? This isn't, okay. So one, okay, these tweezers, first of all, these tweezers are not great, so let me find, okay, we're going to use diamond painting tweezers, okay? Let me move this down even more. Hopefully this focuses, okay. Thinking this is focusable, okay. Okay, okay, so basically what I'm doing is pulling off. my sound effects and then you just put it and you push it oh now I know why there's plastic ones because if you okay you can't really see but because these are like sharp and pointy murder tweezers if you push down on them on the on the drill or whatever thing you want to call it you can actually dent I actually dented scratch part of it so that's why they give you plastic tweezers okay so we'll try it with the plastic tweezers okay so now this goes here the plastic tweezers are so bulky though I don't have you guys tried this before this pixel art let me know in the comments down below. I feel like this will be fun, but also could be annoying. Could be annoying. And then do you get, do they, I wonder how much extra you get in your kit of these plastic things? Because what if, what if like you fuck, if you, sorry, if you screw up, I guess I shouldn't swear. If you screw up and like, I don't know, like, what if you lose a thing? Oh, see? It just shot down my shirt. Oh, my God. I found a diamond painting drill down my shirt, too. Oh, my God. I hope you can't see this. You can't see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it literally just shot down my shirt into my cleavage. Into my huge bosom. Okay. Wow, I'm getting so much done, guys. This is like, I, I can see this like this turning out really nicely. But also I am like, for me, even with diamond painting, I love the process of diamond painting, but I like using multi-placers and just going really fast. Whereas like, this, I feel, requires a sense of concentration, and, like, you can't really multi-place these. Like, you, you literally have to do these one at a time. And these tweezers, I don't know what's up with them. I'm going to switch to murder, murder tweezers, and I don't... It's okay. It's okay. Don't use murder tweezers unless you're fine with scratching these thingies, because 
Okay, this, I put down this in the wrong spot. Okay. Oh my god. But murder tweezers are more usable than the plastic ones. Orloa does have a number of these kits available on their website. And you can use my discount code if you are a patient person and this looks like something you would enjoy. You can use my discount code BEVB15 to get 15% off your purchase. Okay, so that that's how it's looking so far. I wonder, how does this... I think this sits in here actually. And so it's gonna look like that when it's, it's kind of nice. It's nice that it has a frame. And so there's different sizes of these kits. Um, like I think I got one of the smaller ones just cause it was more, literally more affordable cause I am not a rich lady. Uh, actually my mother said I would never be a lady cause I have tattoos. So I am not a rich woman. And um, I got the cheapest kit, but there are other ones. So I've done the white color, here you go. You can see it clearer with this, with the tablet behind it. Um, it kind of looks like an eye and like a sad face, but that, when you compare it to, this is how it's gonna turn out. So this is like, I don't know what this is. This is this white color and then the, I guess this is the underneath of the eye that I've done. And then this area is like the the dome of this. I really don't know what this image is, to be honest. I just thought it was cute, but like, she's like a witch with, uh, I don't know, a crystal ball or something. I don't know. But so you guys can get a feel for like how long this is going to take. Um, there's literally, there's nine, nine pages to this booklet. And yeah, so all you have to remember is to make sure there's like, to make sure this arrow in the background here is going the same way as the arrow on this page that you can kind of see the outline of it. Next one. And part of me was like, maybe I should go through and just like rip off all of these and then put them into like a container, like kind of kit up like you would diamond painting. But I think doing them one, ripping them off one by one, then placing them is a lot easier because the side where the hole on it is already gonna be facing downwards. So you don't have to really worry about um, like rotating it to find the hole with to find the side with the hole and I'm just gonna keep doing this and then um I'll come back yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna finish this tonight guys I'm gonna finish this and then I'll come back and let you know my full thoughts on this kit okay I'll be back 15 minutes later I had the best intentions of completing this kit today, but it's Sunday for me and I don't feel like doing this right now. So let me just go through my experience so far. I really liked working on this. Like it's really fun. The only thing is, is like, I'm used to not hunching over a table, like even with diamond, cause with diamond painting, you're literally just like over here dotting your diamonds, placing your drills and stuff. And like, you can look at it at an angle and like know where things need to be. But when you get, when this starts getting more full, 
because you have to see underneath it. When this starts getting more full, there's kind of like a like it 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 hides your view of if there's like a row right above like a row that you just did, it kind of hides your view if you're staring at it at an angle. So you have to like lean over and hunch over the the canvas or whatever you want to call this to make sure that you're placing things in the right spot. So that was like hurting my back from hunching over and like maybe I'm just a baby because I'm literally still on the first page, but that was annoying. Um, but like ripping off the the drills or whatever these pixel things are uh, ripping them off from here is really easy so I found that hey if I hold if I well let me match this up first okay so you really have to make sure that your your canvas the plastic part is matched up really nicely with the backing like the paper on the back so what I've done is just holding I hold this with my left hand in place and then I hold the the pixel sheet whatever the pixel sheet and then I'm diamond painting like this or pixeling whatever pixeling like this um and so that I don't have to like I don't move this hand at all I'm just applying like a light pressure so this thing isn't sliding around but you really do have to make sure that everything is matched up like over here I can see that I missed a color I'm gonna have to go back and do that the one thing that I am kind of worried about is like once this the majority of this is done um it's kind of hard to get the pixels pushed into the empty slots when there's pixels around it that have already been placed. So we'll see what that's like. Uh, for the most part, I do enjoy using the metal tweezers. And when I'm pushing things down, I'm making sure not to stab them like this. I'm more of like using the sides or the sides or the tops or the bottom of the tweezers and just applying light pressure like this and not like not like this. Even though I am placing them like this when I'm putting them in, because you have to kind of like push them in, um, I'm I'm still going and like push, push, pushing my tweezers at an angle. I really, really don't like these tweezers. I'm not sure if there's a reason why that these tweezers are included. Like, is it cost or something like that? Or is it just like these are more, is this more of a child-friendly kit? I mean, it does say 10 plus on the packaging, so maybe that's why you get plastic tweezers like this, but I am not a big fan of using the plastic tweezers, so I have just I would recommend using pointy tweezers like this or the ones that are curved. Um, and you should have, because you're probably a diamond painter if you're watching this, so you should have a whole bunch of these tweezers. Like literally I have four, four pairs of them at my desk. Um, I don't think, I don't think that these are in here um, by number, like, let's just take some out here. Oops, I have some string from when I was making bracelets. I don't think these are in here by order. It doesn't look like it. So the only annoying thing is, is like, okay, this calls for a number 206. So literally, if you don't know what color this triangle is, um, you have to like look to see in the middle of the backings to see the color and you're kind of just flipping through all of them trying to figure out okay which one is 206 and there's there's so many of them <laughs> so that that I find could be would be annoying and yeah I mean I could technically look at this and be like okay well if I'm going to be doing this this line here, what color is that? Well, that could either be the light purple or the dark purple. So I guess that would narrow it down. So then I would just go through here, pick out the light and dark purple ones, and then try and figure out which number is 206. Um, it would be nice. It would be really nice. Maybe I'm missing it. No, it would be nice if like this was, this was a legend. So um, I guess this is inventory. So color 100 you get one of these thingamajiggers um but it'd be nice if there's little boxes next to them with a color with like a color sample or something like that so if you're like okay 185 that's blue so then you just have to go through find the find the light blue or whatever i'm not saying that this color is this but also why are there there's one two three four five six seven there's seven eight 
nine, nine missing from this color, but I literally didn't even touch the colors on this. So I don't, okay, there's like loose ones. So I don't know, again, I don't know how many, how much extra there is. Okay, so there's some at the bottom of, of the bag here. So I don't know how much extra there is. So I'm like, do I, is, can I afford to lose these? <laughs> Um, that is also another question. Like, I'm sure that they give you more than enough, but like, just in case, like, I want to be careful and not lose them. I think that this kit, like, I'm going to be traveling quite a bit and staying at hotels and like taking a plane and stuff this coming month. Um, I think this kit would be more ideal than diamond painting, just in my opinion, because it's like, if, if you're on a plane or, or in a car or wherever, um, you're not, you don't have run the chance of like spilling your drills everywhere. Cause literally if you drop this, you just drop this and everything's still attached. Um, so I, I like this idea. Like I will legit take this on the plane with me. I think, um, in two weeks when I go off for a work trip, but this is really fun. This is fun. I do enjoy it. I think it requires a, a lot more concentration than diamond painting because you are having to place things properly and and holding on and pushing down and like making sure that this plate is sitting on here, etc., etc. So it it's fun. Um, it's just going to take a lot longer and I'm very impatient, but I think this is a perfect travel kit. I know that there's a lot of people in the Oraloa group re that really, really enjoy this. Um, and I can see why, like I, I literally can see why. So, oh, and I also like, I also like that it comes with a frame. I think this will be great once this is completed and it's just like, I'm guessing that you glue it in. Or no, you don't even have to glue it in. It sits in here nicely. So there's little grooves. Yeah, there's little grooves along the edge here that you guys can't really see. But there's little grooves in here. So it literally just pops in and then you can just sit it on your table. Sit it on your table and display it or on your shelf or whatever. So that's really handy. This kit, um, it was, these kits are quite pricey. Like this one, I think was, I don't know, $40 Canadian, but, um, the larger kits are like the same price as diamond paintings. Um, but these are, this is fully licensed again. Oh, there's, there's some of the blue loose stuff. This is fully licensed, um, which is cool. Great. It doesn't say the art, the artist on here. I'm not sure if it says on the website either. But um, I will put the link in the description box below if you do want to check this out. I guess Pixel Hobby, pixelhobby.com probably has more versions of of their of this Pixel Hobby kit, like probably different variations, different artwork. But this is an Oraloa exclusive, and I just saw that it was it says bioplastic, 100% recyclable. So it's probably it's probably a lot more earth friendly than diamond painting because we know those plastic the plastic drills that come with diamond painting um but yeah I will put a link to this in the description box below let me know if this is something you guys are curious about trying and if you are going to try it and you do want to if you order from Oraloa you can use my code BevB15 for 15% off. I would 100% recommend this. I think it's fun if you're looking for something that's similar to diamond painting but isn't cross stitch or paint by numbers. This is a great alternative. I like the packaging. It goes in and it, you can put things back in very easily. Very easily as I try to shove this box back in here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like this video and this is helpful to you, go and check out Pixel Hobby at Oraloa. Links in the description box below. Thanks for watching. And if you are new here and you like diamond painting, this is an Oraloa diamond painting that I'm working on right now. If you like diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on and whenever I feel like it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. Now to get this back in this box. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, bye. See ya.